let me show you how to set up and pair your Huawei Watch Fit 4 as well as Huawei Watch Fit Pro with an Android phone. So unless you actually have Huawei phone, you will actually need to go uh, to your Google search and search for his Huawei Health. So this app actually is not available on the official Play Store. So we actually have downloaded it from their website. Then also to turn on your watch, we simply have to hold the scroll wheel for maybe like two or three seconds. Let's see how long it takes. So let's see, once you see the Huawei logo release, and again, simply download this software so from the Huawei website. So unless you have the Huawei phone actually. So then select your phone brand, or you can also click other over here. Okay, and click install over here. It will essentially download this uh, Huawei Health app. So download via browser. Okay, and simply wait. Then on the watch itself, as you see, you can select your language over here. Let's do that. So, and simply leave your watch aside. So, we have the app downloaded. Let's open it up. Okay. By the way, also on some phones, it might ask you to enable this installation from like third party apps essentially. So, it, it might show you this pop up basically. So, simply accept that. Let's click open. By the way, also make sure to enable your Bluetooth settings for this process to work, otherwise you won't be able to pair them, obviously. Then select your region over here. Click next, 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 obviously. And also we will uh, also need to log in uh, in our account, basically. So, yep, allow all these access to your notifications and all other permissions, really everything it asks basically. Then before we are able to uh, pair essentially this device, so let's click over here. So, yep, hello, it will already find it. Let's click connect, but it will ask you, ask you to log in into your account as well. So, yep, we actually need Huawei account. So either uh, click register here or yeah, sign in with your existing account over here. Once you log in, we might actually need to go back over here in the device tab and click this once more and search again. So, yep, click connect. Okay, to ask you the pairing request. Yep, allow to calls and logs. And obviously, we can pick up calls on this watch as well. Agree to all these things, so quite a lot of things that it asks. Let's see, yeah, hold on pretty much. Also, it might ask you to, yeah, basically keep updated. Okay. And then also over here, make sure to enable notifications for the apps you actually want to receive notifications from. So let's see if you actually do not enable that, you won't be able to actually receive notification from those. Yep, allow access. Okay, so we actually do not need that, so do not pay for that. So there's no need for that. Okay, and then it's pretty much ready to use. So it will also give you a quick tutorial over here on code how to essentially user user watch. So it might even yeah. So and then it's pretty much ready. So if I swipe down, I can get access to my notifications over here. If I swipe up again, so also these weather things and various widgets over here. So, and also the various styles over here as well. And then if I press my button, I can actually launch my apps and using the scroll wheel, I can, yeah, basically see the design of this watch looks absolutely, absolutely amazing. And again, if you maybe want to download some more watch face, simply again, go over here in the device tab, click on your watch over here click on the watch face and simply download whatever you want. Also, we can install additional applications over here or also upload music basically over here if you click this to the watch itself. Anyway, good luck.